Chasing after rainbows Somewhere in the sky What's up guys, um, today we're going to be you know, doing chess. My main fact that I want to try to hit today is five sets of three reps. So today we're lifting very heavy, but the main thing is to execute the weight. So if this starts to get a little too heavy, I need to die down just a little, but not too much on the weight. So I'm trying to make sure I'm maintaining over 315. I'm trying to say between 315 and 345. So I'm actually trying to go 85 to 90 percent of my max rep. But I actually try to do this for three reps for five sets. The main thing is I find out that when I'm starting to cut for the season and getting ready for a competition is not to lose my strength by doing lots of reps like four sets of 20 reps because the most I'm going to be losing muscle because of all the cardio that I'm doing I'm going to be losing muscle so the main point is maintaining muscle is make sure that I hit heavy weights as much as possible still because if I'm still hitting heavy weights as much as possible that means I'm maintaining my muscle and I'm actually tricking my muscle telling my muscle to maintain and keep that muscle and actually still get bigger while still reducing the fat. So while I'm reducing body percent fat, I'm still slowly probably increasing my muscle gain. Not by that much, but I'm actually still making sure with the process that I'm still keep going with the muscle uh, tensions and muscle isolation. So main thing we're working on is heavy weights, uh, muscle isolation, uh, and trying to do a lot of negatives also. These are the main things of actually building better strength, uh, better physiques, and actually maintain as much muscle during your cutting process before competition. So before, uh, last time I was in up doing 315 for three sets for five reps. So today I'm going to attempt to do 335 for five sets for two to three reps. So it's heavy weight, so I'm not doing as many reps, but I'm still trying to maintain a high volume of sets. So the main goal is five sets, three reps. Uh, last time I actually completed the whole three sets of five reps with 315, so at 335, let's see how, how my body feels. Go from there. Incline, isolation. A lot of people end up doing isolation when they do an incline and they do it one hand. I like to still keep both weights just so I can stabilize the other arm when I'm still doing the isolation. I'd rather keep all the weight right there. So the tighter I am, the more together I am. And I'm not actually shifting weight back and forth when I'm actually doing isolation. So when I'm actually doing a one hand incline pull, I'm not nine times out of 10 trying to lean too far on the right. That means I still have my same dumbbell keeping it tight and they're actually helping me maintain the weight. And I can actually focus more on that other arm that I'm isolated compared to me not having no weight on there. And then I'm throwing that pull and I'm not actually getting the full range of motion. Because when I start having no weight on here and I'm actually isolating, I'm leaning over. So when I'm isolating my, when I'm executing my weights, I'm actually doing a, a little motion movement. That means I'm not actually just lifting with my shoulders or my chest. I'm actually lifting also with that back delt and back. So I'm actually doing a swinging motion. I want to isolate all of the movement and actually focus on the muscles. So when I'm doing that, Keep all the weight on there, keep it tight, and it actually helps execute of all the little motion of movements, the whole swinging. So less swinging, more focus on the muscle that you're working. So I mean, I know it looks good and everything, you can go 100 pound weight, and just isolate it like crazy, but be smart about it and actually, it's a lot. The thing I want to put is a lot healthier 
to not having any injuries. Because I mean, nine times out of ten, when I'm actually lifting that weight with both hands, there's no reason I'm going to be falling back, I'm going to be hurting my back, or I'm have all those aches and pains. So execute all those aches and pains, all those injuries, and just lift it both. If you do isolation, keep that weight on there. So, really lift the heavy weights to get the power in to build the muscle. And to maintain the muscle, and actually focus on the muscle. We do isolation movement. So, right now I'm doing the cables, and I'm starting with a, a lower bottom position. But I'm actually doing a slow motion. So, I'm actually pulling them when I'm coming up, and I'm actually pulling them when I'm coming down. So, when I'm actually pulling all the way back, build that forward, and we're just actually isolating. Isolating going back, isolating going forward. So we focus on strength, isolating the muscle. Because when it comes down to mind over matter. Mind over matter. Hold it for the squeeze, hold it for like two seconds, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Come back down, you can hold it, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Hold it, come back on. Now when I'm building the cables, I'm not bending with the arms, keeping the arms straight as possible, and coming straight up. Take away from triceps, take away from biceps, and just focus. Keep them arms straight, and come straight up. Come straight up. When I'm going down, I'm basically kind of doing like a negative motion. So I'm going down slow, try to negative, negative, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Going back up, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Going back down, the negative, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. So we're going to power, we're going to negatives, we're going to muscle isolation, and that's going to build a better, bigger chest. You want to get ready for competition. You want to maintain as much muscle while you're cutting. The main thing is, when it comes to the end of the competition, it's all about who maintains the most muscle and show it off in competition. You can be 5% all you want, and a guy that has probably 5% body fat, only well, he kept 60% of his muscle. Or you want a guy that's 8% body fat, and kept about 70 80% of his uh, body muscle. He's going to look 10 times better because there's more muscle to show, there's more definition, and there's more to give to the audience, there's more to give to the judges. So that's what I'm trying to prepare myself to do for this next 20 weeks. Okay, next we have is actually our fly machine. The main thing I'm going for is five reps of heavy. So try to get up to about 10 reps. That's gonna be pretty heavy. So five sets, four to five sets of six to eight reps. Um, after I do that, I'm gonna actually do my push-ups between there, which is about 25 to 35 push-ups. So at the end, I'm gonna end up knocking out over 100 push-ups between each reps. So the only time I actually have rest is between my doing my push-ups and doing this. So I'm constantly keeping the muscle on my chest. And this is the last work I'm doing, so it's basically like a burnout. So it's basically how long can you last while you're still doing your push-ups. The push-ups I'm gonna be doing in, uh, doing a close grip. So I'm actually working the inner chest while I'm doing my push-ups, and I'm doing this while I'm doing my outer chest. So I'm working in and outer chest, back and forth, back and forth, until after the five sets, I'm done, I'm fatigued, and I'm out of there. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, we finished out the workout today for chest day. Uh, the main focus thing I wanted to get today was focus on power, which we actually did at the beginning when we did 335. We did 335 for five sets for three reps. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot stronger and it's actually in a good trans phase into my lean bulk slash when I'm actually cutting and ready for competition. I'm actually going for a 20 week cut. So instead of doing a lot of reps, I want to maintain keeping a lot of muscle. So by doing that, I make sure I keep my weight very high in volume. So maintain trying to do a 335, 345 or 365 for reps. So the heavier I lift, the more muscle I'm gonna maintain so today we focus on actually maintaining the muscle, power, and isolation, mind over matter. You have to make sure you get that mind over matter to the point that once the mind connected to the muscle, it brings you to a whole nother level. It actually makes the muscle grow faster in such a way that you can actually focus when you're actually squeezing and isolating the muscle that it's only squeezing that muscle only. And it's not doing it as a secondary muscle or a combination of different muscles. So 
for example when you're doing a dumbbell curl make sure that you're just only curling with just the arm keeping that elbow tight not trying to move too much with the swinging isolate that muscle that will actually get you further on building muscle building a better physique and stuff like that so power mind over matter isolation that was the main thing that we wanted to get today doing high volume low reps so when you're cutting maintain doing high volume stop trying to get to four to five sets for 20 25 reps because the main thing is your muscle is going to start doing it, it's going to say i'm not using that muscle anymore so throw it out the window so you'll start losing muscle so don't get to the point that you started changing your workout fully completely so transition slowly of actually doing high reps so it's your boy Tyson Brazil with TV Fitness saying this is a chest day I actually want to go into detail let you guys know what I do on my chest day and what am I doing to actually get ready for competition in 20 weeks so I'll catch you guys later subscribe put the comment button do not push that unlike button push the like button it's right there to the side that one person who used to put the dislike button all the time, he stopped. Somehow, I guess I convinced him to like my videos, but whoever always pushed that unlike button, somehow they, they stopped doing it. So, thumbs up to that. So, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if any other workouts you want me to do or any suggestions. Peace out.